Hallelujah. Good afternoon. You're all welcome to another time of prayer. Today is day 19 of our annual fasting and prayer session. We started on August 1st and here we are on the 19th day and we are going ahead even up until the 30th of August. Hallelujah. I know that God has been dealing wondrously with us. I know that many of us are already having testimonies. And I just want to encourage us to continue. And you know, the Bible says that either in just to the end shall be saved. Hallelujah. We encourage you to continue in this fast. And in that mind, with that mind and without understanding, I want us to begin to thank God and say, Lord, thank you for thus far you have helped us. Thank you because it was not by our own power, it was not by our own mind, it was by your spirit. We thank you for how you have strengthened us, how you have helped us, how you have guided us even in this season. We thank you because you have been our help, you have been our shield. We thank you, Father, for your word, your instruction that has come to us. We thank you for your corrections that have come to us. We thank you for illumination that has come to us even on this mountain of prayer and fasting. Lord, we give you all the praise. We adore you and say, Lord, be glorified forever. We thank you because because you that have begun this good work in us, you are faithful to complete it and we thank you because you will carry us through to the very end. Thank you, Father, because our strength will not wane. In the name of Jesus, say for they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. We thank you, Lord, because our strength is renewed. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Amen. Hallelujah. Today we are going to be praying for ourselves. And we are going to be reading from the book of First Corinthians, chapter 2, verse 4. First Corinthians 2, verse 4. It says, And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in the demonstration of the Spirit and of power. Verse 5. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. And so you are going to be praying and saying, Lord, use me as a salvation magnet to draw many to the kingdom. That scripture says that my words, my speech, and my preaching will not be with enticing words of man's wisdom. Let us say, Lord, use me to attract many to the kingdom. Let my words, let my thoughts, my actions attract men to the kingdom. Cause that my teachings in the way I interact with people, in the way I relate with people, that men are drawn to Christ in me in the name of Jesus Christ Lord at my workplace in my neighborhood everywhere I find myself my father I draw men to you in the name of Jesus let my whole life let you be an expression of your grace drawing men to you oh God in the name of Jesus Christ I draw men from the north from the east from the west and from the south all over wherever I go the life of God oozes out of me and it attracts others to the very life of God. Father, Lord God, use me as a salvation magnet attracting men from all over from all walks of life. Those who are depressed, Lord, use me to turn them to you. Those who are in despair, use me to turn them to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Le kapati ako satayabalia do shaha. E katani ando sutayamali akato zaha. Ma kotosa imradike do shaha in my workplace, Lord, in my family. Lord God, use me as a salvation magnet. Let my life be one that draws men to you and not one that turns them away from you. In the name of Jesus, men will say because of you, we will serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, that will be their, their testimony concerning me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to continue to pray and say, Lord, use every member of my family, everywhere they may be. Also use them to turn men to you because God wants all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth let our actions, let our words, let our disposition our countenance, our appearance everything about us, let it be such that men will be turned to Christ in the name of Jesus when we speak, we speak wisdom when we speak, we speak the power
power of God. When we speak, we speak by the Spirit, giving answers to people's questions, giving solutions to their problems in the name of Jesus, dissolving every doubt in your hearts by the Spirit of God, by the power of God that is at work in us in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we ask for souls this afternoon that men will come to know you through us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, because you will orchestrate our steps. You will lead us to places where people need to hear us. And when they hear us, they will be turned to you. Just as the people helped Peter that day when he was preaching. And since the Holy Ghost fell upon them, the same experience he experience when people are with me. When people come around me, they encounter Christ as he is in the mighty name of Jesus. And so because I bring men to Christ, I command every satanic walk around me to flee. In the name of Jesus, wherever I appear, darkness has to flee. In the name of Jesus, because I bring the salvation of God's men. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. And we are still praying. And we are going to be praying that using that same scripture. We are praying for an explosion of miracles, signs, and wonders, even in the household of David, in the church all over. And then it will spread to, throughout the nations for salvation of souls. That is what we are focusing on to this afternoon. Salvation of souls. We are saying, Lord, we ask for an explosion of signs and wonders, an explosion of miracles even in the household of David on account of this season of prayer and fasting. Let there be increase in signs and wonders, miracles, diverse kinds of miracles such that men will be turned to Christ in the name of Jesus. The whole purpose of the miracles, the whole purpose of the signs, the whole purpose of the wonders is so that men may come to know you. It shall be for the salvation of souls, of individuals and of, of the nations of the earth. In the name of Jesus, are you praying? Say, Lord, through your workings in the household of David and in the church at large let many be turned to Christ let many be saved from the power of darkness, let many be delivered from the destruction and the power of sin in the name of Jesus on account of the explosion of miracles, of signs and wonders diverse kinds of miracles let it be said that men come to know you even in the household of David because of that which you are doing in our midst and in the church at large, let the church march forward with mighty miracles in these last days, causing men to turn to Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Heavenly Father. Thank you Lord because we know that you are drawing men to yourself even as we worship you. He says if I be lifted up I will draw all men unto myself as you are lifted up in the household of David, as you are lifted up in the church all over, you are drawing men from all the nations of the earth to yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. And lastly, we are going to be praying also for our nation. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. It says, And now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ and make it manifest the server of his knowledge by us in every place. What we are praying for today is say, Lord God, visit this nation with your judgment that leads to salvation and repentance. That is what we want to see in this nation. Visit this nation with your judgment, for in your judgment plan is salvation and repentance. Father, Lord God Almighty, cause the knowledge of your cause your knowledge to spread all over this nation even as waters cover the sea let there be salvation of leaders let there be salvations of citizens let there be salvation in our in our villages let there be salvation in our cities all over this nation let the fragrance of your salvation spread that this whole nation shall be filled with the knowledge of and of the glory of our God, even as waters cover the sea. Those, those sector is left out. No sector is left out. Every sector receives the salvation plan of our God in the name of Jesus. All the people in different places and different places of authority, those occupying different offices in the mighty name of Jesus, we call them forth to salvation by the preaching of the gospel in the name of Jesus on account of this altar of 
prayer and fasting this season. Lord God, many are turned to righteousness in this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, by your spirit you will judge sin. By your spirit you will, you will judge corruption and cause men to turn away from sin. Cause us to turn away from sin and come to the knowledge of the Christ. In the name of Jesus, many are saved and come to the knowledge of the truth in this nation. Salvation is reigning in this nation. Righteousness has become the order of the day. Hallelujah. Salvation is reigning. Hey, everywhere we turn around now, we are hearing people being saved in the name of Jesus, in their thousands, in their multitudes. Oh, Father, in their millions, many are coming to the knowledge of the truth in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because this nation is filled with your glory. Even as waters cover the sea, the glory of your salvation, the glory of your grace, the glory of your knowledge in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' powerful name we have prayed. Oh, Father, we give you all the praise. Oh, we thank you because we see you already walking in our midst. We thank you because our lives are a testimony. They are an attraction for people to know you. Everything about our lives continues to cause men to come to you. In the name of Jesus and by the same wind of your mighty miracles in the household of David. Many are coming to seek the Lord of hosts in the household of David. Yes, many people and strong nations, they are coming in. Hallelujah. They are coming in even into the church in the mighty name of Jesus because the church is the answer in those last days. We thank you Lord because even in this nation, men are coming from other nations to come and see the great thing that you're doing in this nation. Men are hearing salvation stories from this nation that is changing their lives as well in the mighty name of Jesus this is our prayer today oh God and we know that we, you hear us always why because we pray in accordance with your will thank you heavenly father to you alone be all the praise in Jesus name we have prayed hallelujah I want to encourage you wherever you are just continue praying say Lord every day of my life I attract men to you call yourself a salvation magnet yes you draw men to Christ by your words by your actions as you go on in the day everywhere you go be conscious that that is who you are you have what it takes to draw men to Christ because the spirit of God is on the inside of you and the same grace that is on us as individuals also on the house everyone is attracted to christ through the preaching of god's word even in the household of david and in the church all over and we pray always that god in his mercy will visit this nation with his judgments and many will turn to salvation in jesus name amen thank you for joining us today i encourage you to please join us again tomorrow by 12 noon god bless you and keep living in an atmosphere of his peace hallelujah it's your time to experience your mercies join us at the household of david for higher ground conference 2021 theme sure mercies from friday 3rd to sunday 5th september 2021 by 6 p.m on friday 9 a.m and 5 p.m on saturday and 9 a.m on sunday with pastor david Ogbueli. you know the limit of your revelation is also the limit of your manifestation apostle joshua selman the proof of favor is not money no the proof of favor is the hearts of men and your host pastor shola or Shmakinde. the spirit of god never leads you through fear you walk in the spirit you will not feel the loss of the flesh in other words fill your heart with the word of god it will take iniquity from you also ministering in song minister steve crown and minister guc venue Praise Sanctuary, 7 Surulere Industrial Road off Adeni Jones, Ikeja, Lagos. You can also join us online on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and MixLR. All COVID-19 protocols will be strictly observed. Visit www.householdofdavid.org to register to attend. Come and experience your mercies. See you there. Hello, thank you for watching us. We don't want this to end without giving you an opportunity to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life. You know, um, after listening to God's word like this and you have never made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, it's an opportunity to come to him and it's a simple process because he has made all things available. I want to implore you now to give your heart to Christ. 
And by saying these words, because giving your heart to Christ must be done consciously. He has paid the price. Say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I believe that you died for me and that you rose again. I believe that you shed your blood for my justification. I accept your finished work right now and I confess that you are the Lord of my life. I believe in you. Thank you, Jesus. If you have said those words, you are actually born again, a new creation in Christ. Join us for more of this. God bless you.